What's up folks, it's Dan here from VegainCharacter.com and today we're going to talk about nutrition a little bit. And we're going to talk about nutrition without going too heavy into the nitty gritty of things because I feel like it's been a little while since we've done a nutrition overview. So we're going to start off with uh, basic thermodynamics and this is the thing. You are, for all intents and purposes, a wet robot. Alright, if you've never heard that term before, it's kind of a funny term, but the basic idea is you're a machine, okay? You obey the same laws of thermodynamics that every other machine on the planet does, which is if you put in enough fuel, the machine runs. If you don't put in enough fuel, the machine does not run, okay? What is the fuel? Your fuel is food, okay? Specifically measured in terms of calories, okay? Here's the thing, though. As a wet machine, you can eat yourself in order to generate energy. When we do this, it's called burning fat, okay? So... The idea is if you give your body less fuel, less calories, then it needs to run, you know, at a base rate, it will start to burn excess fuel, i.e. fat. So the only way to lose weight, if you're looking to lose weight, <clears throat> is to eat less calories than you burn in a day. That's it. Period, space, space, the end. If you are looking to gain weight, the only way that you can gain weight, if you want to put on muscle, bulk up, is to eat more calories than you burn in a given day. Generally speaking, to lose weight, you want to eat somewhere between three to 500 calories per day less than your body needs to run at a basic level. If you're looking to gain weight, you go in the opposite direction. So if 2,000 calories a day is what your body needs to function, okay, like at its base level, like you work out, you go through your daily life, you burn 2,000 calories a day, then if you want to lose weight, you should be eating somewhere between, you know, like 1,700 to 1,500 calories. And 1,500 calories would be a pretty hard cut, but you can do it. If you're looking to gain weight, you should be eating 2,300 to 2,500 calories. If you're looking to keep your weight the same, you just eat 2,000 calories a day on average. Now, there is no way to exactly measure calorie intake or output, be it, be it through exercise or just basic living. And everybody's a little bit different. But the bottom line is you want to average more than you need in order to gain weight or less than you need in order to lose weight. That's it. How do you figure this out? Well, you write down what you eat and you write down your weight and you average them out. You can count other stuff too, like macros, which we're going to get to in a minute. But the only numbers that really matter for gaining and losing weight are your calorie intake and your weight. How do you figure this out? Well, for a week, you write down your food that you eat, the calories in that food, as best you can approximate them, and your weight every single day. And at the end of those two weeks, you're gonna average it out, average out the first week, average out the second week, and say, huh, did I gain weight? Did I lose weight? As the same as it was when I started. Then, look at your calorie intake and say, okay, well, is it relatively the same, you know, from day to day? And if so, Am I gaining weight then, and I want to be doing that, then I'm at a good calorie goal. Am I not gaining weight and I want to be doing that? I need to eat more calories than this amount. Am I staying the same? Then I need to adjust in one way or the other, unless you're looking to stay the same. Am I wanting to lose weight and I'm not? Well, I need to look, okay, I eat 1,900 calories most days. I obviously need to eat less, like 1,600. We'll start with that and see how it goes. So that is the basics of weight loss and weight gain. We've talked about it before, but it bears repeating because people still do not believe that it is just calories. It's just calories. It's just calories. It's just calories. It's just calories. Anytime you have a friend who talks about how they have a high metabolism and they can eat whatever they want and they never gain weight, it's because they don't actually eat that much. People will say, oh, I can eat an entire pizza in a sitting and I'll never gain weight. Well, yeah, if the pizza is the only thing you eat that day, which it very well might be, and you don't do it every single day, then you're not going to gain weight. Weight gain and weight loss are both habit-based over a long period of time, okay? The bottom line is most of our metabolisms are pretty similar. And being overweight does not mean that you have a slow metabolism. Actually, being overweight can sometimes increase your metabolic rate just because the bigger the machine, the more energy it needs to power itself, okay? So writing down what you eat, and I mean writing down as in like measuring, like you get a food scale and you say, okay, I ate six ounces of chicken not eight, because that matters, all right? Those two ounces of chicken are important. Say, okay, I was snacking today, and I actually had one and a half servings of almonds instead of one serving of almonds. That matters, okay? If you say, oh, I had a can of soda today, and I forgot, 
you know, to write it down. That soda really matters. Bottom line, everything needs to be recorded in order for this to be accurate. And it needs to be recorded according to weight and it needs to be recorded according to standards. Now, you can use something like MyFitnessPal or Eat This Not That, which are two great apps for your smartphone that you can download that will uh, track your food, help you track it. You know, you can scan barcodes with it. It'll have a lot of nutrition facts already in there for some foods, but you still need to put in the work, okay? Now, to get on to the next subject, which is macronutrients, you have protein, carbohydrates, and fat, okay? Protein, your body uses for building muscles, building cells, basically making anything, anything inside you that's created is generally made out of protein as its primary building block. Carbohydrates are your primary fuel source. They're important. You should not get them from sugar, added sugar at least. Sugar in, you know, fruits and vegetables is okay. Sugar in your breakfast cereal is not okay, okay? And fats. Fats are what your body needs to produce basically every hormone that it makes. Uh, they are required for a lot of different essential bodily functions, and uh, they're required for brain. Your brain uses a lot of fat. It's basically your brain is all fat for, for, for the most part, and your brain uses a lot of fat to create various chemicals that it uses for signaling purposes, including hormones. And it's also the most dense energy source you have. Your body will use it last, but it will still use it. Eating fat does not make you fat. Eating carbohydrates does not make you fat. Eating too many calories in a day makes you fat. Eating too few calories in a day causes you to lose weight. That's it, okay? You can get really technical about your macronutrient intakes and ratios and all that other stuff, but the bottom line is the most important thing is caloric intake. That's not to say that macronutrients don't matter at all. You can lose weight eating only Twinkies, but you're gonna feel like crap the whole time. You can lose weight eating only quarter pounders with cheese from McDonald's as long as you stay under your caloric requirements, but you're probably going to feel like crap, all right? But generally speaking, you can be a little fiddly with your macronutrient balance as long as you're, getting, you're hitting your caloric target. And your body will, generally speaking, also tell you when something's wrong. Like you're going to be like, oh, I feel really tired today. Well, you're not getting enough carbohydrates, bottom line. Or you're going to say, man... It took me like three days from rec to recover from that workout that I had. All right, you're probably not eating enough protein. Or you're gonna say, oh man, I've been really moody lately and I'm just having tons of mood swings and just all over the place and find myself angry or you know, sometimes depressed or whatever. You're probably not eating enough fat. Like, those are your three basic signals right there. But you can play around with macronutrients until, macronutrients until you find the right ratios for yourself. And there's a lot of stuff out there about what's right for different people. Bottom line, nail down your calorie targets first, then worry about everything else. As far as what food you should be eating, like I mentioned, sugar is bad. Sugar is bad. Added sugar to anything, generally speaking, is not good for you, okay? Carbohydrates are not inherently bad, but carbohydrates get a bad rap because sugar gets added to almost everything you eat. So look at ingredients lists. You'd be surprised how much sugar is added to almost everything. Sugar is sugar. Sugar is high fructose corn syrup, which is sometimes called corn sugar because they like to mislead people like that. High fructose corn syrup is very bad for you. Do not eat high fructose corn syrup if you can avoid it. Uh, so sugar is bad. Stay away from sugar unless the sugar that you're getting comes from fruits, which leads me to number two, which is do not drink stuff that's not water, okay? Drinking calories is stupid. There's no point to it. Juices, sodas... You know, stuff like that, you don't need them. I'll make concessions for stuff like protein shakes, okay. Milk, eh, it's okay. Especially if you're, you know, a kid and you're growing, milk is not bad for you. It's got a good mix of stuff. But the bottom line is the number one liquid you should be consuming in your life is water. Even diet sodas and diet drinks are not that great because they, tri they can trigger a false insulin response in your body, which makes you hungry which can sabotage what you're trying to do by drinking diet drinks. It can make you hungrier than you're supposed to be because you're trying to eat, drink drinks that, you know, are supposed to help you lose weight. Now, that's not to say that you can't occasionally have, you know, a diet soda or even just a regular soda, but you have to account for it. You have to remember how much freaking sugar is in soda. And juice is not much better. Don't buy orange juice. Buy an orange. Don't get grape juice. Go get grapes, you know? I mean... Vegetable juices are a little different. They have a much lower sugar content, but they taste like crap. So who wants to drink them anyway? Don't drink calories, okay? You want to stick to stuff like meat, 
lean meats, okay? Don't eat red meat a lot. Eat chicken, eat fish, eat lean cuts of pork, you know? You want to eat vegetables. Eat lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of vegetables. And try not to put too much sauce on them because sauce is just empty calories again. So eat lots of vegetables. I'm not saying it has to be like steamed. Like I hate steamed vegetables. But I'm also saying don't add three servings of salad dressing to your salad because you're sabotaging yourself, you know? Eat fruit, whole fruit, like the fruit with the skin and the pulp and everything. Eat the whole thing. And eat more vegetables than you eat fruit. If you're gonna eat grains, eat whole grains. 100% whole grains, whole wheat, stuff like that. If you're not going to eat grains, make sure you get a lot of vegetables and fruit and legumes in your diet so you still get the fiber and the carbohydrates that you need. Legumes, love them. Beans are amazing. Nuts, you gotta be careful about. High calorie content, lots of fat. They're good for you, but you have to remember that the palm of my hand filled with almonds is an entire serving of almonds, which is not that much mass-wise, but it's a lot of calories and it's a lot of fat. Almonds are really good for you, but if you eat three cups of them a day, you're going to get weight, all right? That's it. So, bottom line, let's go over the basics one more time. Calories are what govern your size. More calories in than you burn, you gain weight. Less calories in than you burn, you lose weight. We all, generally speaking, have pretty average metabolisms, barring exceedingly strange or rare health circumstances, okay? Lesson number one. Lesson number two. Macronutrients matter, but not as much as calories, okay? If you're having a hard time recovering from workouts, you're not eating enough protein. If you're finding yourself low energy and unable to get through your day, you're not getting enough carbohydrates. If you're finding yourself moody and depressed and unhappy, generally speaking, you're not getting enough fat in your diet. Play around with it until you find yourself in a happy place. And number three, record everything. Write down your diet. Write down everything you eat and do it for a long time. You know, I said two weeks to start out, but that's to give yourself a baseline. You should write down your food all the time. It's not a bad thing to do. First off, because, you know, God forbid you have an allergy attack or something like that, you can go back and go, oh, I ate this thing that day, so that might have triggered it. But also, being mindful of what you eat is very, very important in this modern day and age of marketed stuff being thrown at you constantly because advertising will make you forget what you're eating. And as silly as that sounds, it's actually really true, all right? Something is not healthy just because it says it's healthy. Something is not good for you just because it says light on the packaging or diet, okay? Eat real food, eat vegetables, eat fruits, eat lean protein sources like chicken, fish. If you're not a meditarian, then eat tofu, okay? Soy products are fine. Tofu's not bad. Everybody gives the soy a bad rap. Soy is really good for you. I don't know why. It's the stupid estrogen thing that people argue about that has like almost no basis in science. That's the different topic for a different day. But eat real foods. Stay away from prepackaged stuff. Stay the hell away from sugar. All right? That's it. Those are my basic nutrition guidelines. They'll set you on the right path. You can get into the nitty-gritty details later. You know, you can do research on your own or we'll do a video here on the blog if you want, whatever you want to do. But that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye.